Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My country, 96.1 Fathead, Candy Roth. We are looking at a uh, okay day, a candy out. That makes it not okay. But, uh, we, you know, the rain, if you did have some rain in your area, that is getting out of here. We'll have clouds. We'll turn to sunshine. Uh, we will be mostly dry throughout the day. Get into the 80s, a little, you know, humidity as usual. It's July 23rd. Come on. Uh, speaking of which, lots going on. Let me set the scene first. Uh, by the way, yesterday posted on Instagram and Facebook, uh, some uh, photo dumps, video dumps of the weekend. My trip to Montauk with the kids, also our night at Luke Combs at MetLife Stadium. Uh, some videos and pictures for you to check out. Uh, we try to keep in contact with you always on our socials, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and the others, My Country 961 uh, and we are excited about it, so go check it out. Uh, and we'll see details there also about our night at Dublin Deck, Tomorrow with Graylin James, rising country superstar and songwriter, will be performing with Southbound and DJ Salty Jim, our big hump day hoedown, tomorrow night. We are definitely excited about it. And those two big shows we still have to go here at the Catholic Health Amphitheater at Bald Hill. August 31, Cole Swindell, Ashley Cook, and Kelsey Hart. What a night that's going to be. And then September 14th, salute to heroes, Jordan Davis, Tucker Wetmore, DJ Deuce at both of them, party on the lawn at both of them, all the details you need. Ticketmaster.com for the purchase of the tickets, and you'll be ready to roll. Um, a couple of things I want to get uh, into your brain here. Let's start this way. How many hours... Do you spend online shopping? Well, Americans seem to spend an average of 54 hours per year online shopping. Now, that counts, all right, before you get crazy, 54 hours. That's insane. It's looking for deals, searching, searching online coupons, searching promotions. I mean, even myself, how many times have I seen an advertisement on Instagram or said, oh, you know what, I need to buy this. And you go, you search. Uh, when I was buying a birthday present for Maeve's, uh, for, for Candy's granddaughter, Maeve, and she was turning one, it took me probably a good hour or so to figure out, okay, I want to get this. I don't want to get this, right? So 54 hours, it sounds like a lot, but it also includes the searching for the best deal. Um, by the way, more than half, 53% of people claim they never pay full price. They will always find a deal or wait for a deal. All right, this next one, I've been waiting for this one this morning. Uh, I have three kids in the house who are the high school, middle school age. And it seems now that Alexa, yes, your Alexa, knows Gen Z slang. You can talk to it. Ask, say, hey, can you translate, uh, you know, some Gen Z slang terms for me? Uh, it'll teach you how to talk like a Gen Zer. Just say, hey, Alexa, talk Gen Z to me, and she'll spit out some slang along with a definition. So they've listed some terms here to get you started. Now, may I just say, you're going to know some of these. Maybe a few of them I will be telling you for the first time. Um, but I am proud to say I know all of these like the back of my hand. All right, first one on the list. If you don't know this, you're just not in the pop culture space. Drip, D-R-I-P, drip, right? When you're high fashion, you got a lot of the jewelry on, you get, right? It describes someone as being, uh, you know, well put together. Did you see that guy's watch? He's got drip. I sound cool saying it, don't I? I know, I know. Your kids are cringing right now. I understand. All right. This one is interesting, and I have heard this one. My oldest, Leah, has said this to me. When things just aren't adding up, and, and by the way, it doesn't have to do necessarily with math, but when things just aren't adding up, maybe you're telling a story or whatever, and they're like, oh, this, this doesn't sound right. This is what you say. The math isn't mathing. I'm sorry. I'm listening to your story, but the math isn't mathing. We shall move on. This next one is a huge one. It, this, this one gets said in my house multiple times a day. Oh, you ate with that outfit. 
you ate and left no crumbs. This is supposed to uh, praise someone for doing something well. If you do something well, especially with a little bit of style, you absolutely ate and left no crumbs. Look, I'm, I am just the messenger, all right? I know, I understand, I don't necessarily sound cool saying the terms, but I'm trying to school you in case you don't know. Um, it's giving is the next one that you need to know. The Gen Z terms uh, used to describe a certain vibe you're giving off. Like, oh, your outfit is giving Taylor Swift right now. It really is. You look like you're from the lover era right now. It's giving lover vibes right now. Uh, the next one is mother. Uh, someone who's iconic or like a mentor. The example that Alexa actually gives, if you ask Alexa to explain what the Gen Z term mother means, is Rihanna is mother. You don't even put Rihanna is a mother. It's Rihanna is mother. That means iconic or a mentor. This one is obvious. I feel like this one started because of Taylor Swift and the Eras tour. You're in your blank era. Like, let's say you're doing self-care at home and you're big into that, right? I'm in my self-care era, right? Over the, I was in my Montauk era over the weekend. I'm in my tennis era right now, as you know. So that that's the big one. And last one for now, and you'll get more if you go, you know, talk to your Alexa and you ask it to, uh, you know, give you some of the definitions of the Gen Z terms. The last one I have for you right now is... To intentionally ignore someone is to air, A-I-R, like the air you breathe. Um, like, why is he airing my messages? Yo, he does not look at my Snapchat. He keeps me unopened on Snap. He's airing my messages. That's the last one for you. I'm done. I promise. Next time, maybe I'll get one of my kids to do the terms instead. Uh, but now you know. Knowing's half the battle. We are less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. National Day's good news stories on the way. Late 8 o'clock hour. The rain dissipating. We should be cloudy to clear. And some sunshine later today in the low 80s. Let's hit the roads. My country. 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.